Hey guys, wanna get more clients? Continue to watch my video. Mwah. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Anita Rivers of Classic Royalty. Welcome back to my channel. And as you guys can see from the title, I will be telling you guys all the secrets on how to gain clients. Yes, how to gain clients, how to gain followers, whatever it is that's in that bowl of gumbo, I will let you guys know the secret. But it shouldn't be a secret, but I'm going to let you know my secret on how I got over 40,000 followers on my YouTube and how I got over 20,000 followers on my Instagram and counting more in my sewing group, more on my Facebook uh, main page and more on my Snapchat. I get followers every single day and I'm gonna let you guys know the secret and how to just continue to get clients and how to get promotion and all that stuff. Let's go. My sewing group is a girl, she posted a couple of questions. Her name is Marie Griffin. So instead of answering the questions uh, on my sewing group, I decided like why not just do a video and share with you guys on how to gain clients. Five questions here that I think are very important because some of you guys are just starting out some of you guys aren't starting out, and some of you guys still don't understand why you guys aren't getting any followers. Is it because my clothes aren't as good? Is it because my posts aren't as good? Is it the fabric? Is it you? And I know you guys ask yourself that question 10 times a day, and I want to let you guys know it is a little bit of all those things. There are certain things to post, uh, certain captions you should post, and it's certain ways of how you edit your pictures. Um, to get more uh, clientele because people like you and me are more visual creatures. We like to see things that are shiny and sparkly and pretty and if your photos aren't that or if you aren't that or if you aren't even wearing your own clothes, people won't follow you and then people don't want to get things from you like custom pieces. So I'm going to try to answer these questions to the best of my ability so you guys can get more followers. First question is, how did you start creating or selling your items? Okay, so I actually started when I was in college. I didn't stop. Some people go to college, they stop, they get a job, whatever it is. I continued my collection from college, out of college, and I kept going. I did not stop. So the first thing you guys need to do is actually start something. If you're doing hoodies, continue to make hoodies in different colors and different logos. If you guys are doing prom gowns, continue to post prom gowns or make samples. Make at least two samples a month and post them. Not during prom season, before prom season so that people can know that you guys are actually making these things before that season comes up. Am I getting off topic? What's the question? How did you start selling your items? Okay, so basically, I started selling my items when I found out that people actually wanted to get in contact with me via DM, inbox, uh, Snapchat wasn't around. So Twitter, people would just email me and the more you post, the more you post that you're going fabric shopping, the more you guys post appliques and trims and fabric. Look at me, I'm going fabric shopping, here's some fabrics. People want to see your page being active. They don't want to feel like they're going on your Instagram page and it's a scam and it's fake. They want to see that you're a real person uh, sewing real garments and actually working with real clients. So post, post, post and people will actually eventually find you. And is how did you find customers or clients? I don't find customers or clients, they actually find me. Clients should find you. And the key to finding or to getting followers and clients is to post your work again. Oh, that's gonna be number one. Post your work, post your work, post your work. Number two, what I do, I always name my garment. So, for example, if I'm making a bridal gown, I might name, if it's gold, if it's a gold bridal gown, I may name my, my gold bridal gown, you know, goddess, the goddess bridal gown. You know, it's something unique. Name all of your individual pieces. And then the third thing is hashtag. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag your work. If I'm promoting prom season and I have my prom flyer, Hashtag Anita Rivers, Classic Royalty, Prom Designer, Prom 2018, Prom Gowns, uh, Bronx Designer, um, you know, The Shade Room Prom, or Fashion Bomb Daily Prom, or uh, whatever it is. Just put prom in it. Just hashtag prom in anything you put. If you're from 
Chicago, Chicago designer, Chicago prom designer, or hashtag the schools that are in your area. I don't know what schools. Uh, I'm in New York City, so there's Kennedy uh, High School, Evanda High School, Truman, whatever it is, hashtag those schools so those kids can hashtag the school and then they see your dress and then they see your page. And then they follow you and continue to follow you. Ta also, another quick tip is how to gain clients. Um, when you guys go clubbing, when you guys go to certain events, you know, tea parties, clubbing, bachelorette parties, weddings, wherever you guys go to, you must, must, must wear your own garments. Halloween is coming up. You guys should be making your own custom Halloween costumes. When you guys go to the parades or Halloween parties or haunted houses, have business cards. If someone say, oh, I like your costume, what's the first thing you say? Thank you, I made it. Here's my business card. That's how you gain clientele because even if she don't want something made or he don't want something made, he has your business card and he can give that card to his mother, his girlfriend, people at his job. You never know. People talk. No matter what happens, no matter what year it will be, people will always want something custom made. So always have business cards, number one, on you. Give some to your boyfriend, your husband, your father, your mother, your daughter. Always have business cards on you. Or if you don't have any, make sure the person who's next to you have them on you. It's always important to keep business cards on you because business cards is what? Hello? It gives you business? Uh. Number three is... How did you get traffic to your website if you have one? So number three for me, for those of you who may not know, I had a website and I used Wix, W-I-X-X, -X, I believe, and I had a website. It was $150 a year, but what I realized that everyone, I got a lot of uh, traffic that went straight to my Instagram and not to my website. If you guys know, you can monitor how many people go to your website a day, an hour, a month, a year. And I realized everyone was going to my Instagram and not my website. Why am I paying $150 a year out of my pocket to keep a website where no one's checking? They go straight to your Instagram. People always ask, do you have Instagram? Yeah. Do you have Instagram? Duh. If you do not have Instagram in 2018, it's a problem. That's, that may be a reason why you're not getting as much clients as you want to because you don't have Instagram, because you don't have Snapchat, because you don't have Twitter or Facebook or whatever it is. We're in a generation where everyone has a cell phone and everyone has one of those, uh, one of those or all of those social media uh, pages. You need it. We're in a tech savvy social media phase in this generation get Instagram get snapchat get on the horse and promote your work and that's what you guys need to do so unfortunately I don't have a website I only have snapchat Instagram Facebook and YouTube so I don't have a website if you don't have a website it's okay you don't need a website just connect your email address to your Instagram you can do that where it says email they click your email go straight to your email you have DM, you have inbox, you have a phone number, and you have you have all that. So you really don't need a, a website. So it really depends on you. I don't have one, and it's okay. If you have one, it's okay. If you don't have one, I'm letting you guys know that it's also okay that you guys don't have one. When's the last time you had a jammer? Don't judge me. I'm damn near 30, drinking a jammer. Okay. Next question. The next question is, what kind of advice would you give your past self and or someone like me who was just starting out? When I first started out, I didn't go to uh, YouTube. I didn't go to Instagram. I didn't know who to follow because no one was really into, well, I think no one was really into the things I was into and no one was able to teach me how to build a brand and how to build my business. So I put out what I knew best which was social media. I would wear, I would, if I'm going to a birthday party, I would make something just to wear and I'll keep that outfit. If I'm going somewhere else, I would buy similar colors to what I wore before and then make an outfit and then wear it. And now you got two pieces that are very similar that you can start a collection with. Always start with one or two pieces to start a collection. 
for those of you who are starting out you guys don't know even how to start where to start nothing like that you guys must know your fabrics fabrics are very important because it can definitely make or break an outfit if it looks too cheap if it's uh, too expensive or if you're making something and it doesn't fit the body perfectly you guys need to know shapes body shapes what fabric looks great for someone who's a size zero compared to somebody who's a size 24 you guys need to know your fabrics you guys need to know how much fabrics cost you guys should know fabrics just from looking at it via picture like you guys shouldn't have to just touch something um you guys should know how to post you guys need to learn how to post posting pictures is is a, is a craft you gotta post the picture make sure you get a right angle make sure you put some glitter on that um, make sure you scan in the video down make sure you bring it back make sure you bring it closer you know people are visual creatures you guys like you guys need to know that you know? also I would also tell my young self or my past self that it's okay to just be confused it's okay to not know uh, your design aesthetic one thing you guys should be focused on if you guys don't have one is your design aesthetic who are you as an individual I my aesthetic for classic royalty I love to I love shiny things I love bling I love gaudy I'm very gaudy and my personality and my style and fashion is very is a mixture of Diana Ross of Cher um, it's very it's performance like mixed with uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even have a name for it. I'm just calling classic royalty kind of gaudy. I love things that catch your attention. And my style aesthetic and my silhouette aesthetic is, is you know, fit and flare, you know, circle skirts, things that are very flowy and comfortable. And I know what fabrics I like. I like sequins and little mesh and neoprene. I like, I like structure and glitty. I can mix something that's very hood like and use a very gaudy fabric and make it more street casual um when you're designing who do you want who do you picture in your mind when you're dressing i would love to dress would amber rose wear this would taraji p henson wear this would anita wear this what would anita say okay like gotta think about things like that if you wouldn't wear it why are you making it if you don't think Amber Rose will wear it, then why are you making it? Like, you gotta think about things like that. What does your brand say? Do you have a logo? Do you have um, a name for your brands? You should have all of that before you even think about making anything and selling things. You need a brand. You need to start somewhere. And number five, guys, um, what are some other sources than social media to expose your work? Now, once again, I use, again, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube and uh, Facebook my stone group and my own personal if you guys don't have any of those things the best thing for you guys to do is what fashion shows there are fashion shows everywhere in your city in your state if not travel I'm in New York City there's New York City Fashion Week there's a Bronx Fashion Week there's Atlantic City Fashion Week there's Brooklyn Fashion Week there's um I will travel. I've gotten paid to do fashion shows outside of the states. I've even got a show. I've even got asked to do a show in London. You gotta post your work. Post your work. People will notice you. They'll even bring you out, fly you out, do a show out there. But once again, if you don't have any social media, do fashion shows. Fashion shows. Do um. You know, if you have a mall near your house, see when they have fashion shows. See if you can rent a little booth and have a fashion show within the um the mall you guys know like it's just you gotta be creative and you gotta think put on your own fashion show go to your local beauty supply store your bodega put flyers and host your own fashion show i know this guy i know this may all seem simple to you guys but you guys need uh a little bit of help on how to get clientele there's one picture that i've seen on instagram that i think i'm gonna do this is, I don't know who this is, but I love, love, love this shirt. So when I get my new shirts made, I'm going to put Classic Royalty on the back. I'm going to put Anita Rivers on the back and Classic Royalty Designs at gmail.com on the back. Because if you can't see my front, you see my back. They may not know who I am. They may take a picture, go home and Google me and see that I'm a designer. And that's also another way of getting your name out. Wear a t-shirt. 
you know, classic royalty, Anita Rivers, the back says designer. Or, you know, have your have your friends promote you, have your, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife promote you. Um Shoot, go to your uh, the high school you graduated from. Put on, put out flyers in your high school that you're doing prom dresses and, and whatever it is. Do things like that. Do things out the norm that a lot of people don't do. So once again, I hope you guys um, jotted some of this information down. I hope you guys find some of this a little bit useful. Um, if you guys have any other questions about how to get your name out there, how to get clients. Um, where to shop, whatever it is, if you have any other questions in general about how to be a better you and how to be a better designer, leave it below in the comments. I'm here to help you. Once again, if you guys aren't a part of my sewing group, there is a link under all of my videos, including this one. Please, guys, make sure you guys add my sewing group, but don't just add it. Let me know. There's questions you got to answer. If you don't answer the questions, you will not be accepted. Are you a fashion designer? Yes. And are you willing to help in this group and share? Yes. Please answer those two simple questions. If not, you will not be added to the group. I need to know that you're a real person and not a fake page. And that's basically it. So, hope you guys took from this video. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you guys get more clients. Get more followers and once again, add me on Snapchat, add me on Instagram, and add my sewing group. All of my information is below in the description and I'll see you guys next time. And make sure you guys like this video and if you guys haven't, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Okay. Okay? And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.